हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द मैथ्स क्लास टुडेज टॉपिक इज टाइम ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ टुडेज लर्निंग इज टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू ड्रो अ क्लॉक एंड हाउ टू शो हाफ पास टाइम ऑन इट इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू ड्रो अ क्लॉक एंड हाउ टू शो ओ क्लॉक टाइम ऑन इट आई होप यू ऑल हैव रिवाइज योर वर्क Now let's recall what we have done in our previous session. A clock has twelve numbers. It has two hands, long and short. Long hand tells us minutes. Short hand tells us hours and reading of o'clock time. As we know, one day has twenty-four hours. One hour has sixty minutes. One minute has sixty seconds. So. When the long hand is at twelve, we read the time as o'clock time. In the given clock, the long hand is at twelve and the short hand is at nine. So the time is nine o'clock. Now let's start our today's topic. Before starting our topic, I'll tell you basic fact about half past time. As already we have learned. One hour has sixty minutes. So, what's the half of sixty? Thirty. It means half hour has thirty minutes. When the minute hand has moved halfway around the clock, the time is half past hour. When the long hand is at six and the short hand is between any two numbers, we read the time as half past hour. Now, children. Look at this clock. What do you see on a clock? Numbers from one till twelve, and two hands pointing to the numbers. One hand is long, and one hand is short. Long hand shows us minutes, and short hand shows us hours. As we know, one hour has sixty minutes. So, when the long hand points at twelve. we read the time as o clock time so what's the half of 60 30 it means when the long hand points at 6 we read the time as half past hour because the minute hand has moved half way around the clock now half past what now see where is short hand the short hand has moved Halfway from five towards six, it means short hand is pointing exactly halfway between five and six. So we read the time half past five or five thirty. Now, what's the time on this clock? The long hand is pointing at six, so the time is half past hour. Now. Half past what? See, the short hand has moved halfway from nine towards ten. It means the short hand is pointing exactly halfway between nine and ten. So the time is half past nine or nine thirty. Now, tell me the time on this clock. The long hand is pointing at six. so it's half past hour now half past what the short hand has moved half way from 4 towards 5 it means the short hand is pointing exactly half way between 4 and 5 so the time is half past 4 or 4:30 now what time is it the long hand is pointing at 6 So the time is half past hour. Now half past what? The short hand has moved halfway from twelve towards one. It means the short hand is pointing exactly halfway between twelve and one. So the time is half past twelve or twelve thirty. I hope you all have understood to read half past time. Now. Let me check how much you have learned. I'll tell you the position of hands, and you will tell me the time. 
if the short hand is between 7 and 8 and the long hand is at 6 so what time is it yes the time is half past 7 or 7:30 now move to the next example if the short hand is between 10 and 11 and the long hand is at 6 so what time is it yes the time is half past 10 or 10:30 now the next example is if the short hand is between 5 and 6 and the long hand is at 6 so what time is it yes the time is half past 5 or 5:30 now it's time to draw a clock on copy. Before start writing, you must draw the margin lines with the help of scale as I have drawn two margin lines like this. After drawing margin lines, you will write down today's date at the left side of the page and write down C to W at the right side of the page. Leave one line and before the margin line write down ex dot that is exercise and after the margin line write down exercise that is draw a clock showing time half past nine. It means you have to draw a clock that shows time half past nine. Then leave two lines one and two. Now put your pencil on the third line. Leave two boxes 1 and 2. Now your pencil should be on the third box like this. From the third box we will start putting dots. 1. Move to the next box. 2. Again move. 3. 4. 5. And 6. It means you have to put 6 dots. Now put your pencil on the 6 dot. From the sixth dot, we will start putting dots. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now again from the sixth dot, start putting dots. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Again from the sixth dots, you have to put six dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. It means you have to put 6, 6 dots on all sides. Now, we will join dots with the help of scale. First, put your scale on the dots and start joining dots. You have to do it very carefully. Lines should be straight and work should be neat after joining dots you will get a square now, we will put crosses at the corners of a clock there are four corners of a clock so we will put crosses at the corners after putting crosses it's time to write numbers on a clock First, we will write number 12 at the top of a clock. This is the top of a clock. So, we will write number 12 here. After writing number 12, we will start writing numbers clockwise. First, we will write number 1. Now, what comes after number 1? 2. After 2? Two, 3. Now, what comes after 3? 4. Now, after 4? Five. Now what comes after 5? 6. 6 should be in the front of number 12. Now what comes after 6? 7. What comes after 7? 8. After 8? 9. Now what comes after 9? 10. After 10? 11. 12 is already written here. So we have written numbers 1 till 12. After writing numbers, it's time to draw two hands of a cloak. As we know, a cloak has two hands. One is long and one is short. First, we will put small dot in between three 
and 9. First put small dot. Very good. Now what time we have to show? Half past 9. When half past time is there, the long hand is at number 6. So first we will draw long hand at 6. Long hand always touches the number. Now what time is there? 9. It means half past 9. So we will draw short hand in between 9 and 10. In between 9 and 10. Here is number 9 and this is number 10. So we will draw short hand in between 9 and 10. Short hand away from the numbers and it's small in size. Now see short hand just half the number 9. So the time is half past 9 or 9.30. After showing time on a clock, you will be writing leave two lines 1 and 2. Now put your pencil on the third line and before the margin line put number 1. Number 1 is where is long hand? Long hand is at 6. So we will write long. The first letter of the sentence should be capital. L-O-N-G long spell hand. H-A-N-D hand is at 6. 6 should be in the box. Then put full stop. Then leave one line. Put number 2. Number 2 is where is short hand? Short hand is between 9 and 10. So we will write S-H-O-R-T short hand is between spell between b e t w double -E, e and between between 9 a and d and 10 one should be in the one box and zero should be in the next box then at the end put full stop now leave one line, put number 3. Number 3 is, what time is it? The time is half past 9 or 9.30. Because the short hand is at number 6. It means the time is half past time. And the short hand just half the 9. So the time is half past 9 or 9.30. So write down, as so, so, then put comma. The time is T-I-M-E time is H-A-L F half past P-A-S-T past 9 or O-R-O-R or 9.30 9 then put two dots, it means colon, then 3, 0, 30. At the end, put full stop. Now, let's recall what we have done. A cloak has 12 numbers. It has two hands, long and short. One day has 24 hours. One hour has 60 minutes. Half hour has 30 minutes. And reading of half past time. Now children, open your snap homework and do the related exercises on copy. Thank you.